Right lads, welcome to Santa Monica, the pier, Santa Monica pier, Ferris wheel, all that crack, literally straight out of GTA San Andreas. It's funny, like, I'd say Santa Monica probably has the most, so there's like maybe three, four, five Irish pubs around, whereas places like Hollywood and like Beverly Hills, there's, there's very few of them, to be honest. I know like in New York and Boston and all, there's loads of Irish pubs, it's not really that much of a thing over here. But the first pub we're going to, again, these were all recommendations given to me, is called Ye Old King's Head, I think. It's just up there. I, I feel like, by the sound of it, I feel like it's probably a British pub. Uh, but we'll go and see, and then we'll see where the day takes us. Right, lads, that's the pub behind me. Do you reckon that's an Irish bar, yeah? That is as British as they come. Right lads, the old king's head. Um, yeah, I don't know, not an initially great experience. Sat at the table, the servers walk around, just totally blank for about 10 minutes, had to go in and order the pint. But we won't be, uh, we won't even take that into the equation, even though it'll definitely come into the equation. Uh, bubbly, when you get a close in on that cat, bubbles to beat the band, and that is not a good thing. Oh, a new style of glass. Glass does actually look clean, but yeah, bubbles like just fucking crazy. Anyway, it's launch it. Again, it's one of those situations where it's gonna be pleasant because you can walk around for a while in the sun. It's cold. I'm sitting in the sun, and Guinness in the sun is definitely growing on me once it's cold. But initially, like very bang average, if not below average. What do you feel? Those bubbles going into my mouth. Usually you want velvet, thick, smooth, creamy head. It's pretty much the opposite. Taste-wise, again, not awful, but a bit of a bit of a knock rate aftertaste. See, like you saw, fucking Union Jacks. Never seen so many Union Jacks in my life. Um, that are on this pub. I get all these recommendations, but I don't know if they're Irish pubs, British pubs, or just American pubs with Guinness. But, uh, but kind of when I saw the name Ye Old King's Head and the recommendations, you would kind of presume it's very British, old school British side of the pub, literally a big yolk saying British pub. I find you don't see that many British pubs, it's more Irish pubs. Um, but so yeah, all the Union Jacks and then the bad service. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's an Irish thing, but we're, we're not thinking like that. It's all about the point. But you see it, you saw it just like I saw it. That point looks shite. Chad had me write this little job description. But it's for someone external. Taste wise, is okay. Drinkable, a little bit watery. But I was kind of like confused and I talked to Dusty about it. It just does have that little lingering aftertaste, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna, usually it's easy when you're reviewing lovely pints, it's easy to neck the whole thing in three, four minutes, talk shit and review it and give it a score, but I'm not gonna do that to myself. I'm gonna give it a score halfway through. I've had enough of that to give it a score. Um, I'll go, I'm trying to compare like pints at home to pints abroad and all this different stuff. It's even like leaving, my, my stomach's even feeling weird after. I just can't get over the bubbly head. I'll go 5.1. Actually, I usually keep the first one up. I gotta go 4.9. 4.9 out of 10. Um, a score change in the score. It's like uh, in golf when you get a mulligan. If you break off, like a mulligan, I get one mulligan to change the score. 4.9, and that's not out of 5. So after that we headed into a CVS pharmacy where I happened to see for the first time in my life Manscaped products on sale in a bleeding shop. 
And now I just want to give a quick shout out to Manscaped, the sponsor of this whole LA mini series. So Manscaped are the best in men's grooming. With the patented skin safe technology, the Lawnmower 4.0 will greatly reduce the chances of nicking your bowels. It's also waterproof and uses an LED light. So if you pick yourself up the Performance Package 4.0, you get the Lawnmower, the Weed Whacker, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, a free pair of boxers and a little travel bag, a wash bag for all your goodies. And if you use my discount code PINTS20, you'll get 20% off plus free shipping. Get it done, lads. Manscaped, the right tools for the job. All right, I was going to shoot some hoops. I'm standing here, the size of me, all six foot seven of me and me, Atlanta Hawks jersey. Everyone thinking this lad's going to be lethal. Wait till I miss three. James, two seconds, one second for the win! Oh! LeBron and James delivers! That's a winner in Cleveland! What a hunk. Well, I'm here at Jemison's Pub. It doesn't actually say Irish pub. Pretty obvious by the big fat American flag at the, at the front of it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's an Irish pub, just a pub. Gonna head in here, I'll be honest, I actually heard it was a shy point. I think some, a couple of people were like, don't go to that Jemison place in Santa Monica. But lads, it's very limited. If you type in Irish pub around Santa Monica, even the LA area, I'd say there's, I could be wrong, but I'd say there's less than 10 Irish pubs in all of LA. So we're fairly limited, we'll go in and we'll see what, what's happening. It's fucking busy in there. I usually, as you know, I usually always do my reviews when it's quiet. So will you even be able to hear me? Will I get a seat? Who knows? We'll see what happens. Well, I have no idea if you can hear me or not. It's very loud in here. I'm sure it's like a Friday evening at like 6 o'clock. So, I just saw a lot of signs saying it's happy hour two for one. I ordered one pint of Guinness. I'm going to show you what I got. They just handed me two and said nothing. Uh, I'm not sure on the price I'll get it. Well, obviously plastic cup, not ideal. But the fact that I just got two for one, I really don't want two. It's going to be awkward if I have to leave one. I better just drink the two. Um, yeah, serious fucking damage on that, isn't it? Well, absolutely lethal. Lovely bubbly head, uh, temperature seems alright, I don't even know where to start with this review, but anyway, launch it. Again, this keeps happening, I have to, I'm having major issues with Uber and Lyft and all that shit, so I keep having to walk places, so I just walked like 25 minutes to get here. So because of that, that tastes amazing. Even though it's probably absolute shite, but it tastes amazing. <laughs> As it goes on, I'll probably realize how bad it is. I really hope you can hear me. Ash Nichols like it could be decent. I was said to myself, uh, when I get to the next bar, I'll sit down and I'll speak about um, what I think of Santa Monica, but I don't think there's really much point. It's way too loud. I'd be surprised if you can hear anything I'm saying. It's not a bad point at all. What am I on about? Stay a bit, it's shy. But it's just so nice after the walking. So stick, alright. Looking 10 out of 10, this is. Cool big bar. I'd imagine if you were here on J1 or something, this you'd be definitely coming here to get your. H-O-L-E, excuse my French. Happy, happy hour is a thing, I don't know, is happy hour really a thing in Ireland? Maybe it is, I'm not sure. Obviously they do it to try to get people in early. It says three till 8 p.m. every day, two for one drinks. That's unbelievable, no wonder this place is packed. You get 10 points for the price of five, that is some going. All right, as the pint goes on, I'm realizing it's not the greatest. 
but taste wise it's all right. I just wish they gave it to me in a glass it's really weird getting a pint in a cup inside in a bar that's not even that busy like it's busy but it's not mental so um yeah i don't know stick is serious though i really don't want to drink the second one but i probably will also if they knew anything about guinness surely they'd give you the second one after a few minutes i know it's hard to keep track of but that point is just going off by the second we all know Pint of Guinness just turns into shite. It's a beautiful thing when it's fresh. Ten minutes later, when it's been sitting there, it's rotten. Just spilled the end of it all over myself. I probably look drunk. I actually managed to miss myself. Again, these plastic cups are a bitch. Like, stick is fucking ten out of ten. Uh, I've always said I'll never give anything in a plastic cup over a five. But that's as, about as good as you'll get in a plastic cup. Uh, it wasn't much damage on it, but I'll go like... We'll go 4.5 out of 10. Now to drink the second one, do I or don't I? I can't really not drink it, so... We'll have it. 4.5 out of 10. Maybe it would have been a 5.5 if, if it was in a glass. Alright, final pub of the day. O'Brien's Pub. Gawain McGregor. The Guinness sign that says the word never, I don't really I'm not too sure what that means. Again, minus damage, that is definitely not a point. I think the guy the guy came out and said um, they used to do, I told him what I was doing, Guinness Guru, and he was like, yeah, we used to do 20 ounce glasses, the actual Guinness glasses. He's like, that's a lot of Guinness. I was like, that's fucking regular glass, lad. This is fucking, no, for lack of a better phrase, pussy shit. Tiny little glass again, it's probably about $400. This pub is, it's busy inside, but it's, I said, put me out the back. I was drained after the carnage in that last place. I just want to do a normal review. <laughs> so slanch at minus dome, which the head is actually very smooth and non-bubbly, which is good. And it's a hell of a lot better than the plastic cup I got in the last place, so. It's very cold. I really have no idea in terms of American Guinness. Do they do it extra cold? Is it just a standard? I know there's all these mad reg. People have been saying to me, the American followers, like there's all these mad regulations with pubs and glasses and systems and all this sort of shit. So they have to follow all these rules. Um, so probably hard to get a decent pint. But yeah, the taste. To be honest, the taste in all these. Pubs hasn't been that bad. I do think the Guinness is fresh. The difference between, I feel like, maybe America and then somewhere like these random pubs you go to when you're on your holidays in like Spain and Portugal, I feel like maybe the Irish pubs or Irish team pubs in America take a bit more pride in it, whereas places when you go on your holidays in like fucking Tenerife and Portugal and all, they're just Irish bars, but like they really don't give a shit about the Guinness. But can't really say these do give a shit about the Guinness when they're giving you that glass. See, the Americans are probably used to it, I guess, but when you're following me, you know, well, that is not acceptable. It's probably only about 400, maybe 420 mil is my uneducated guess. One thing I do love about America is the amount of different sports. Like, you go into a bar at night time and there will, like, in Ireland, like, you know, you might have like, there might be, you or, or the UK or, or just in general, like there might be a bit of Champions League or something on a Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday. There's rare, like a bit of Monday night football. Like it's pretty much all you can really watch during the week is soccer. 
And then on the weekends, there's obviously a bit of rugby and all, and, and GAA, more soccer. But it kind of, they go in and out of seasons, but like in America, you've got NBA, uh, NFL, MLB, M NHL, and then MLS. So they've there's always something on baseball, American football, basketball, soccer, and hockey. Between them, like you'll never, there'll always be something to watch. So I do like the idea of heading to the sports bar after work or whatever, and there'll always be something on to watch in the background. So good crack. And yeah, they're fucking mad for sport over here. LA Dodgers currently against the New York Mets on the screen. Again, oh jeez, I look bollocks because I am. Another quite an average point. Um, just grand, but I'm actually, this is lovely. I'm just chilling in, having the crack. There's, yeah, there's a few things I want to tell you about LA, America in general, if you haven't been. I think I'll just do a little closing segment in one of the videos when it's uh, nice and quiet. But. I'm telling you, if you haven't been to the States before, lads, you better do your research. Because, like, the stuff with the tipping and uh, how you pay your bill and all is mental. Like, mental to us anyway. Obviously, they think it's normal, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll explain later. Anyway, what are we saying about this point? <clears throat> I'm trying to look at the price on the menu. It doesn't have it. I don't see it anywhere. Probably literally twelve dollars. Yeah, that's fine. Probably the best one I had today. Even though, like, the first what was that pub I went to? Ye Old King's Inn. That was um fucking flies. That was a Guinness glass, a new style glass. But the bubbles not on the head were septic. I think I gave it like a four point nine. This tastes all right. Like, it's just obviously shy to get that small glass, but clean. A little bit of shtick. Happily give that 5.8 out of 10. It's grand, nothing to write home about, but acceptable ish, not really. But I'd like the rest of it because it came in such a small glass. But yeah, I'll give O'Brien's with the McGregor mural on the outside. I don't know what I think of that now, but <laughs> I suppose a pretty clear sign that it's an Irish pub. If you ain't up on things, Dr. Dre is my name, I'm ahead of the game, still. Good old LA, California love, baby. Yeah, I'm at our place, real up and down in, in what I think of it, and I heard so much different things coming in. But yeah, that's the score, 5.8. For O'Brien's.